We have all these um, resources and intelligent people at these places called schools and lots of government funding and lots of energy put in and yet there are so many students who it's all designed for who have a negative experience, an unhappy experience, a fearful experience, um, an anxiety ridden experience. My name is Katrin Jaksties. I'm here to talk to you about the new ways of education that I think are necessary in this world um, to help change the situation we are in. Hi, my name is Laura and I primarily became interested in alternative education through my own um, experience being at school as a young person. At the moment in life I'm learning to reconnect with my intuition. For me that means hearing all the voices of doubt that come in over top and recognising that they're not true and that my intuition is. And there's been many things that contribute to these voices of doubt but part of it was definitely being told that I was wrong in the school system or being told to do something in a different way than I naturally would have. Hi, I'm Natalie from Australia. Often um, in the school system or different ways of learning, we may not actually be totally open to our potential of learning. And it's just about opening to our potential. And how do we do this? This opening to our potential. My name is Mihirangi, and talking about education, um, the way I see things are going today is, you know, a lot of children are dropping out of schools. Hi, my name is Graham Forskett. I'm representing the scientific, the spiritual and the artistic element of future education. These shapes here are all based on the golden ratio. The golden ratio is well known to be the frequency signature of our heart when we're in the feeling, in the moment, in the expression of love and compassion. My name's Madhu and I'm interested in neo-humanistic education. And so this is a type of alternative education system. Humanism is expanding the love for all of humanity. And so neo-humanism takes it one step further and expands love for all of creation, for the whole universe. So at the moment I'm one, trying to reconnect myself with intuition and secondly, trying to find a way that I can encourage other kids to not lose that for themselves. Children naturally seem to follow their intuition and if I can have some part in, in encouraging that, that would, that's what I'm sort of searching for.